Uh, Martina, start us off here. What storyline are you following as these two weeks unfold? Well, since this is the first major since COVID began and we have no fans, I think the biggest question, Mark, is how will the players adjust to this? It's all new, but uh, at the same time, you have to adapt to it very quickly. On the social side, uh, I think sports, uh, we, we kind of at an inflection point with, with social rights, uh, uh, human rights issues and uh, the racial unrest going on. And sports has really inserted itself into that conversation. And I'm proud to say that tennis is a part of it, too, with Naomi Osaka doing her bit. So uh, glad to be here. Yeah, guys, we talk about athletes and celebrities sometimes that exist in a bubble. Now we have new zest to that phrase. This is the first major in the COVID era, and big, big credit to the USTA for setting up the infrastructure that will make this happen. We hope for maximum tennis at this second major of the year, but we also, more than that, hope for maximum health. Yeah, and, and John, thankfully, it seems like we're going pretty well in that direction, which allows us to focus uh, a little bit on the tennis. And there are some historical implications as well with this event. Serena Williams continues her quest for 24, maybe a good chance considering that the, the women's field isn't full. Um, and on the men's side, Novak might be able to take advantage of the fact that Roger and Rafa not playing in a slam for the first time in a long time. He's going for number 18, trying to get closer. So there's a lot to discuss, but thankfully there'll be also some tennis we can talk about too.